All right, so in this video, we're going to look at how to do calculations on our sales and cost data uh, within subsets of this or overall. Now, for this project, we're required to have averages for each week and then also overall. So within our data, the first seven days will constitute the first week, the next seven days, the second week, and then the last seven days, the third week. So we're going to create columns here for week one average, week two average, week three average. We can also calculate these averages using the average formula, but also based on totals. So week one total, week two total, week three total. And we can then calculate from that a weekly average, which covers how much money each department makes in a single week. Now these values are kind of all related to each other. Uh, and notice I am expanding the width of the columns to make sure that the headers are going to display correctly for each of our columns. And then once we have them for this week, we can go ahead and copy them into the next week. Now for our week one average, as I said, we can calculate these from the total or we can calculate these uh, from just the average formula. And this is where Excel and Sheets are quite similar to each other. The formula for the average is average. And then you go ahead and highlight the cells that you want to average. So you don't have to type them in manually. I want to type in the first week and I'm just gonna verify one, two, three, four, five, six, that's seven days and then close my formula. And that calculates my average for me. My second week average is gonna start where the other one left off, which was the 27th was the last day for week one. So week two is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. And then week three, is going to be the next seven days or the last three seven days. Now we could get the same thing if we calculated the totals sum. And if I'm just adding the sum, I'm adding up all of these same values. And then if I were to go ahead and calculate this sum, let's do it for the second week. Yep, it's, and it's gonna suggest maybe what I have in mind. I can also calculate the average by taking the sum and dividing by seven. I will get exactly the same answer if I copy the average formula from the previous column, it's exactly the same value. So uh, those, uh, once we calculate the ones for the top row, we can then copy and paste into the bottom row. But you could do the sums first and then divide by the number of days to get the average, or you can just use the average formula directly. So I'm gonna update my sum to be the 28th through the 3rd. And I'm going to update the sum from the 4th to the 10th. And the weekly average Again, what the weekly average typically means is the average of the weekly sums. So we're going to average these sums, week one, week two, week three totals. And we can get an overall daily average.
either by averaging our week one, week two, and week three averages, uh, because they all have the same number of days per week, so they're all equally weighted, or we could calculate the overall average from all of the individual 21 days here. So note that number, average, all the days, and I got the same number. Once, as I said though, once I have this top row, I can this just drag that down to the bottom. Now you are not required uh, for this project to calculate totals for each of these columns. It's fine if you do, but it's not required. Uh, and then once we have, because we have the sales and cost data set up in, in exactly parallel formats, once I calculate all these averages for the sales, I can actually just copy and paste all of these formulas into the cost column. The rows will all get updated and all of the calculations can be repeated very easily without having to re-go through all setting up those formulas. So this is one of the nice things about spreadsheets. It's designed to do so many repeated calculations very easily. You set up the formula and then you don't have to repeat setting everything up. You just copy and paste and it updates naturally. All right, so in the next video, we're gonna look at doing day of the week calculations, uh, which is the other thing that we have to calculate uh, from this data.